For your warm up, we'll do a series of exercises. Each one we'll do for about 30 seconds. I've got my timer. I'll explain the move. We'll do it for 30 seconds and then we'll move on to the next one. So the first one is hamstring curl, heel the butt, reach and pull with the arms. 30 seconds starts now. Reach and pull, pull shoulder blades together when you pull your elbows back. Looking to the limber up the upper back, front of the thighs, get the heart rate up. Just go at your own pace, whatever makes you feel comfortable. You can go longer in each exercise, shorter, whatever makes sense for you. Four, three, two, and one. Next exercise is a twist. You'll stay upright, elbow and opposite knee come toward each other. They don't have to touch. 30 seconds starts now. Bring your knee high instead of bending down. So I don't want you to bend forward to try to reach your elbow toward your knee. Stay tall. Halfway. four, three, two, and one. Next exercise I call hinge and swing. You hinge at the hips, sweep your arms back, and then thrust your hips forward, arms swing overhead. Here's your beep, 30 seconds starts now. Hinge down, push your hips forward to come up. The arms are a bit weightless on the way up because most of the move is initiated from the hip thrust. Don't get your head lower than your hips. That can make people dizzy. Almost done on this one. Do one more. Good, done with that. For the next one, front kicks. Bring your arms up in front of your chest and face. Elbows bent, stand tall, alternate legs, front kicks. 30 seconds, timer's on. This keeps the heart rate up, starts to loosen up the hamstrings back of the leg with the kicks. 12 seconds to go. Three, two, and one. Next one. This one's a little bit slower paced. Step back with one leg, just a small step back, push that back heel toward the floor, sweep your arms overhead, and then step together, switch. Other leg. All right, 30 seconds starts now. You're only gonna get six or eight of these because it's slower paced, that's okay. Gently pushing the heel toward the floor. Stretching out the calf. You'll feel the front of your hip open a little bit as well on that leg that's stepping back. Eight seconds left. I'm gonna do one more. And there's our beep. Good. The next one is going to be a half squat. You can go into a full squat if you feel warmed up and it feels okay on your hips, but start with a half squat, half squat down, come right up, side bend up and over, alternate sides, half squat, come up, side bend. Here's our 30 second beep. Half squat, side bend. Also keep your chest up. We are looking forward as you do the half squat not looking at the floor. Sit your hips back, your weight stays in the heels on the squat, like there's a chair a couple inches behind you and you sit your hips back reaching for the chair. Almost done, one more. Good, done with that one. There's your beat. Standing tall for bow and arrow twists. Stand tall, arms reach straight ahead. Palms down, palms center, either way is fine. Nice and lifted, and then pull one, bent elbow back, and take your face with that hand, and then return to the start position. Other side, and return. 30 seconds starts now. 
stand tall, twist, and then reach forward. Take your face width. You want your neck to go along with what the rest of your back is doing. Hips stay mostly pointed forward. You should feel the twist through your torso. Twisting is a really nice um, thing to limber up the back and even relieve tension in the back. Four, three, two, and one. Done with that. For the next one, you need a chair or you can touch the wall or a sturdy piece of furniture. This is just for help with balance. You're going to do hip circles. Lift a knee up, circle it out, set it down. 30 seconds on this leg, here's your beep. Stand nice and tall, circle up and out, tap the floor with that foot or even set it all the way down in between each one. Holding on just makes it so you don't have to think about balance. You'll stay steady. You can just focus on limbering up the hip, which is the point. We'll do the balance work in the workout. 12 seconds more. Four, three, two, and one. Switch to the other side. Same thing, other leg, 30 seconds. Here's your beep. Lift up out, set down. Go either slow or at a moderate pace. Not real fast, it ends up being momentum. A little riskier too when you go fast, harder to control the move. 10 seconds to go on this side. Four, three, two, and one. One more exercise. I always end the warm up with three forward bends. No timer for this one. So I want you to stand tall, sweep your arms overhead, look up, hold here, big stretch, and then swan dive down, slide your hands down your legs into a forward bend. If you need the support, keep your hands on your shins, your feet, or the floor if you can touch. Stay there. And then bend your knees, roll yourself up. Just go as far as you can on that forward bend. Do it again, sweep the arms overhead. Look up, big stretch. Swan dive down, slide your hands down your legs. Stop when you feel a good stretch. Stay here. Bend your knees a little bit, roll yourself up. We're gonna do one more. Arms overhead. Reach toward the sky, look up, swan dive down, slide your hands down your legs, forward bend, stay here. We're going to hold this last one. Take some deep breaths, try to straighten your knees a bit. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Bend your knees and then roll yourself up nice and easy. Don't go too fast. Done with the warm up. time for your workout.